Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 610. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 608 to 612. In this trick here, we have some transactional data with daily dates, and we need to calculate year over year uh, numbers and show uh, percentage change. Now in this video 610, we're going to do it with a pivot table and 611 we'll see an awesome really short and sweet array formula. And then in the rest of these we're going to do similar year over year calculations but um, with interesting twists. Alright, pivot table. Data has field names at the top. Records are in rows, no blanks anywhere. I'm going to click in one cell, go to Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table, but I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut instead. Alt gets me the N, N gets me the V, V gets me the T, and then that pops it up. Now I'm going to, I have this one memorized, and if you're doing pivot tables all the time, you should too. Alt N V T. And further, since the default is a new worksheet and it's got the right data, you just hit Enter, Alt, NVT, Enter. Now, since we want yearly data, I'm going to take this date and drag it to the row label. I'm going to right click Group. You could also go up to the uh, Options and there's, there it is, Group. I have my screen really small, Group and then group selection, either way you like to do it. I'm going to do months and years. Anytime I have transactional data, if I'm doing months, I'm doing years. Even if it's, a, well, you can see right here we have two years, right? But even if you only have months, I always tend to do years just in case there's a straggler uh, different date, different year. Click OK. And there we have our um, year and months. Now, look at this down here. You can see we have two fields. We just are interested in years, so I'm going to drag the date back up here, and sure enough, we have just years. Now I'm going to drag the years over to the column. And we're, since we want year over year, I'm going to drag the sales once. That gives us the numbers. But sales twice, then we can do a calculation on this field and actually show the percentage change. All right, I'm going to close this field list here. This is uh, these two right here. And then sum of sales too. These are where we'll do the calculations. I'm going to uh, change the formatting and change the name. I'm going to right click value field settings. Change the name. If you type sales, it won't like it because there's already a field called sales. So the ways to get around that is then type a space. All right? Uh, that's got the function we want. Sum. I'm going to click number formatting and uh, select currency. No, I don't want to see any decimals here. I'm not interested in the pennies. Click OK. Click OK. Now let's come to this one. Right, and I also don't want to see the uh, totals over here. Don't need them. I'm going to go to Design, and then I have mine all scrunched up. But there's a grand totals, and I'm just going to say on and off for rows and columns. Don't want any of them. I'm going to try and control, hold my control and roll. The, the roller ball on the mouse just to make it a little bit bigger. I don't like these column labels. I want to see the field name, so I'm going to go click in the table. The context sensitive ribbons pop up. Design, layout, and then tabular. I'm using 2010, so you see some cool new features down here. Show in tabular form. Now I can see it says years up there. Now I'm going to right click this one, value field settings. We're going to change the title to percent change. And then I'm going to come to show values as. I'm going to say show values as a uh, percentage of. Now we have a base field. It is going to be years for us because we're going from this year to this year. And then of course we want our base year to be 2009 because we want this number right here to be compared to that with division, right? This one on top of this, and it'll give us 100 and plus some percentages, so we'll see the increase. Uh, click OK. I don't want to see the um, two decimals, so I'm going to right click. Actually, I, I shouldn't have clicked uh, OK. I should have just clicked the number format, percentage, and show zero. Why do we always do it this way instead of just 
regular format cells. Uh, sometimes when you're pivoting, formatting can go away, although that has dramatically improved over the years. So this is a more robust way to change the formatting. Click OK. And there we have our year over year sales and our percentage change. Um, when we come back in 6.11, oh, we need to name, always name your uh, pivot table year over year. Enter. All right, when we come back in our next video, we'll see how to do it uh, with an array formula. Um, sweet and to the point. All right, we'll see you next trick.